Hello, this is Steve Schwartz with PDGO Web Solutions. In this demonstration, I'm going to show you how to add a new email account to Microsoft Outlook 2007 on an XP PC computer. This is very simple to do. Let's show you how it works. Go to the top where it says Tools, click Tools, and come down to Account Settings, and click. Now, I've already got a couple of existing email accounts in this area. However, if you're adding a new email address to your computer and it's the first one, chances are this area will be blank. I'm going to click the button here that says New. And this screen appears called Add a New Email Account. We choose what kind of uh, email account it's going to be. And typically for our clients, they use either POP3 or IMAP. And POP3 is by far the most popular, so we're going to select this and click Next. Then we're going to have, at this point in your account, you would put in your name. In this case, I'm going to put in my name, but of course you put yours in this location. Next, we put in the email address. So for example, I'm going to type in steve at testingaccount.com. For instance, if steve at testingaccount.com is the email address uh, that I'm configuring here. Now, I just noticed something. Down here at the bottom, there's a box that says manually configure server settings or additional server types. I found that it's easier to just enter all of the data manually to make sure it's put in correctly rather than letting Microsoft try to figure out what I want. So I'm going to click this button. It goes gray. And now I click Next. Again, Internet email. We're going to do a POP account. So we're going to select that one and click Next. And it started entering the things here that we had uh, uh, started on the original screen before I choose, chose to do it manually. So my name's Steve Schwartz. Email address for this testing account is steve at testingaccount.com. Now, again, most of our clients use POP3 for their email. However, if you choose to use IMAP, you can select IMAP from this location here in the drop-down menu. If you don't know what IMAP is, chances are you shouldn't be using it. But please let us know if you do have any questions. The incoming mail server is going to be testingaccount.com. So I'm just going to select it here, Control C to copy, click here, and Control V to paste. And the same for the outgoing mail server is testing account as well. Now, the logon information, username, currently it just says Steve. However, the entire name should be in here, the entire email address. So steve at testingaccount.com and I'm going to enter the password into this location now. Of course, it's going to put stars so that you can't see what it is, and that's for security purposes. Next, we're going to go to the tab that says, or the button that says More Settings. This is the General tab, the name of the account. This area you can fill in if you wish, or you can leave it blank. Outgoing Server. This is very important that you click Mice Outgoing Server Requires Authentication and leave this first circle, my, uh, use same settings as my incoming mail server. That's correct. The connection, typically you can ignore. And the advanced, the um, outgoing server, SMTP, that we use is 587. If you wish, you can leave a copy of your messages on the server for a few days, maybe two days, five days or so. Typically, I don't recommend any more than five or seven days so that your email account doesn't get over full. Then you click OK. We've now entered everything we need for this email account to work. So we click Next. We click Finish. And in this screen here, you'll now see that Steve at Testing Account is now listed with my other email accounts that are checked using my Microsoft Outlook 2007. I click Close, and I'm all finished. If you have any questions on this, please give us a call at our office, toll free, 888-354-4946 or send an email to support at pdgo.com. Have a great day.